Hello and welcome to this Learn English Professionals recording brought to you by the British Council. How to beat stress before an oral exam. Hi Tim, are you okay? Uh, no, not really. I'm in a bit of a state actually. Why? What's the matter? I've got my French oral exam on Thursday and I'm, I'm really worried about this. Why? You're really good at French. I don't mind written exams, but with orals, I, I get nervous. <laughs> How do you manage? You had your, your German oral last week, didn't you? Yes, it was fine. I enjoyed it. <laughs> enjoyed it? <laughs> Here I am trying to survive an oral exam and you're telling me that you actually enjoyed one. <laughs> uh, come and sit down. Let me give you some advice. Oh. Oh, thanks, Emma. <laughs> That would be great. OK. What exactly are you worried about? Your marks in French are usually good, aren't they? Yes. It's one of my best subjects. I got 70% in the last exam. Oh. And you know what the oral exam consists of, don't you? Well, not exactly. I think we have to compare and contrast two pitches... And they ask us about our hobbies, oh. the usual sort of thing. Hmm. Well, to start, you ought to make sure you know what to expect. The more information you have, the better you'll feel. Yeah. You get nervous when you don't know what to expect. Well, that's true. <laughs> so find out. Find out exactly what every stage of the exam consists of. How can I do that? Well... You should ask the teacher to explain exactly what happens. Ask her if you can do a mock oral in class. A mock oral? <laughs> yes, a practice, oh. a trial run. Oh, that's a good idea. I hadn't thought of that. What if she says no? <laughs> I'm sure she won't. But if she does, you should organise a mock oral with some friends. Two of you can practice while another person listens and takes the role of the examiner. OK, that sounds like good advice. <laughs> <laughs> what else is worrying you? I keep imagining myself in the exam and being unable to say a word. Have you ever been unable to say a word? <laughs> no, I, do, I usually manage. <laughs> <laughs> then you ought to remember that. Yeah. You shouldn't waste time worrying about something that can't happen. You know enough French to have a conversation, and so you won't freeze up. Hmm. You ought to believe in yourself. The trouble with the speaking exam is that you can't really revise before it. Yes, you can. Why don't you read something in French? Listen to some French music? Uh, watch a French film? It'll all help to get you into a French mood. I hadn't thought of that. Oh, listening to the radio is a good idea too. French radio? Yes. You can listen on the internet or download a French podcast. Find something that you are interested in. Good idea. I could listen to a film programme. Yes. And did you say you have to compare and contrast two pictures? Yes. The worst thing is that you have no idea what the pictures will show. But you can practice. How? <laughs> Just use any two pictures and look for things that are the same and things that are different. For example? Uh, well, uh, look at this menu. Yeah. Both of these pictures show sandwiches, uh -huh. but the first picture shows a ham sandwich, and the other one... Shows a cheese sandwich. <laughs> yes, I get the idea. <laughs> this recording was brought to you by the British Council. To find out more and to access language activities and audio scripts, visit our Learn English website at www.britishcouncil.org forward slash learn English.